everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. Today's episode, we're going to talk about a movie that just popped up on Netflix called Only. Came out in 2019. I'm not sure if it really was uh, that widely released or if it didn't even release anywhere at all until Netflix. Don't know for sure, but that's our review for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed our reviews. And don't forget to let us know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. And turn on those post notifications. Without further ado, what was your take on Only? I didn't like it at all. Like, so, let me let me make this straight. I love the concept. The concept of the movie was um, in a world where only women are affected by a particular... Um, and in the world, it is... Oh well, yeah, in the world, it was basically just like women were affected by a disease that men weren't affected by. Oh, this like, mysterious disease coming yeah. from, from Ash that they didn't fully explain explain on where it came, where it came from. from. They assumed where it came from. I they mean, didn't explain it, the disease enough. Um, it definitely had a lot of holes in the, the script to me. I, I, the, the concept was great. I feel like when you come up with a concept as great as that, you can do so much more to where you can do like sequels. I feel like you could do yeah. sequels with this concept. I would have preferred if this became a TV series instead of a movie because you had a good enough cast where they could have made this a lot better and longer. Because, okay, yeah, most of the world's women have died from this mysterious uh, disease that where we're picking up on the show while well, the movie from it's 400 days into this new disease exactly and oh it's God. mysteriously coming from this ash that's mysteriously falling mind you at the same time a comet had passed by so it led everybody to speculate that it's probably from this comet but they never really explained where it came from granted yes yeah, 400 days past it so they're probably still trying to figure things out we know there was at least one female that was still on this earth because she was one of the main characters. We don't know if there were other females. No, they have to be because I mean, of the, the reward that they had. Um, they had a $2 million reward in the U.S. only. But I'm talking about we don't know for sure if they were still alive or not. Yeah. That's just them trying to find females because it became total anarchy because government agencies were trying to house the women in one place so they can monitor them get their eggs so they can do reproduction because I mean honestly let's face it society is what won't crumble if there's no more females you can't reproduce Facts. but to me I felt like they had an opportunity to divulge further into and that they aspect fumbled the ball they felt they had an opportunity to divulge into more of a deeper background to before and what happened they missed the opportunity at the end where she wound up dying, possibly. She died. I mean, it was too I, many time skips, too. Yeah. Like, it was too much back and forth. Like I mean, I don't mind time jumps if they go in proper orders and yeah. follow a certain sequence of when it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, they did a good job making it look a little hazier and fuzzier so you knew it was more jumping back in time. It was just like the whole premise, right? So here's the thing, right? During the movie... Me and Mike was watching. She says, I guarantee you because they said that they, they had 12 men test positive but showed no symptoms. Mm -hmm. Right? So Mike says, watch he gives it to her. But see, they already alluded to that in the beginning. But the, the, but the part before, about it was. Before they said about the 12 men. Remember when they were right when they uh, were inspecting his apartment. The military was inspecting. And he had one of the test results on the table. One of the guys said, yeah, we don't, don't, don't worry. We're not coming back for the infected. Yeah. He, so it was shown that he tested positive, and that was his test. No, it was hers. No, that was his. She, I'm willing. She took. Remember, if you don't remember. No, she took one in secret. But he had one. Remember when they first, when they went back in time and showed it, he took the test. Yeah, did yeah, when they went back in time. Yeah. So my whole thing is this, right? During the movie, you're thinking, oh, he gave it to her. Then it shows her going outside to the Perfect. roof, removing her hazmat suit to get it. See, she pissed me off with that because. Okay, so what's your mama's dead? 
your dad is about to die because he's losing his mind. So you're really going to risk your life just to end it all just because she was showing, you she can't was, talk she to your father? Very, like, very, very your bad. father is lived his life already. You she, have an opportunity to live your life and you purposely have an obligation to try and save humanity at this point. She was being very selfish. Yeah. Um, because he was hunters, though he was look at that. He was he doing was everything in his in his like realm yeah. of possibility to That's save her because he mm -hmm. simply loved her, and she was literally being very very. Granted, it was it's taxing. It's 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 oh, yeah. it's it's like doing do a lot of stuff to your mental. But at the end of the day, this man is doing mm -hmm. everything to the T to save your life, and you're being very ungrateful. That's what pissed me off. And but you know, we can definitely they didn't have no uh, no type of uh, sexual relationships on that time, so it, you know that's going to build up some uh, hostility even more. For <laughs> of course, them. but then at the end of the and day, trapped in the house, like they had no like. Okay, you had a, 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 a antagonist, right? You had a, a villain for ten minutes. I mean, technically, you had a villain for the whole thing: the virus and the government, in a way. Because but the money that they put out for everybody, I mean, two million dollars. One of the guys was even talking in uh, a diner, diner, talking about, uh, I, I wouldn't turn to my daughter, but I'll turn to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dad. But no, it was crazy because we don't fully know whether or not there's more females. Did they get a embryos and eggs from some of the females? They fumbled before. The I mean, it was a lot that could have happened. That they didn't do. Then the wood scene. You get Chandler Riggs, who's known for Walking Dead. Yeah. And you use him to stare at a naked lady for five seconds and get smacked in the face with a gun. What? <laughs> you could have done better. Yeah. And the thing is, what pissed me off, right? When he was um, like one of the scenes, like not one of the scenes, one of like you know how on Netflix and it has like a snippet or like a, a poster of the movie. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Carl is in here. Carl is in here, and he was in the movie for a hot twenty minutes. Yeah. It was just like you, you, you got a great actor. I enjoyed him as Carl. His time on Walking Dead. I hated but, him. But you Sometimes. had someone who, who you could have like pushed the movie a little bit further than what I mean, it was. I mean, everything felt rushed. I mean, granted, it was like an hour and a half long, but it, it the whole premise of it was essential to today's world right now. With us being locked in the house for a virus, they're locked in because of a crazy disease, and it was wild because when they go flashing back to when it started, their, his girlfriend's roommate comes back in the place and just falls out and they rush her to the hospital. Mm. And then next thing you know, all these females start showing up to the hospital, and it's only female that's showing up sick. He's like, "Yo, we gotta go," because it's only female. She there. don't want to listen in. <laughs> nope. And then they talk to her parents, and her dad is basically saying, "All right, this is what you guys gotta yeah, do." Yeah, because he said he has a friend or something like that, yeah, or works from, the, uh, at the CDC. And it's just like, yo, this entire movie, she it seemed like she was very ungrateful for what he was doing. And it's just, like, I get it, because like, I get the whole being stuck in the house. I, so I have literally been stuck in the house with my wife since March. It is now July. I mean, most of us have that. Have and most of us start. have. But at the end of the day, what I do for my wife, as far as like trying to make sure she's safe, yo, babe, don't forget your mask. You know, don't forget to wash your hands. And she do the same thing for me. We don't get on each other's nerves. She's not grateful, ungrateful because I'm telling her to do these things. But at the same time, I understand it. It was more taxing for her because once she's losing her parents, at the same time, she's also lost all these other women in that chat group that they had. True, but at the end so of the it's day, emotionally taxing. But you still got to look at the bigger picture. Exactly. You survive. You guys can start a whole new. Even though I question that as well, because what if it's only one woman, one female that survives? Incest. At the end of the day, something, it's gonna become incest. Something weird would have happened. But or are they going to try to uh, artificially inseminate the eggs of hers so that way it's multiple people and they spread the bloodline? I don't, I don't know. know, but it, it would have been weird. But they they had a great concept, but execution was terrible. So, I would really like to see somebody pick this back up as a TV series style down the line and just they could have they could have divulged and swept to so much more. They could have maybe maybe 
somebody will. They could have divulged into like what the government was doing. And we didn't really see enough of that. They could have divulged into like other countries. Well, they showed the only time they showed the other countries and more things with the government was when they were doing the uh, the newscast. This, yeah, the newscast for that center when they had the idiots. Which I I'm sorry, I'm getting tired of this type of stuff. These so-called God believers there that wanted to destroy the houses that well not the houses but the facility that they had for the women so the women would not catch the virus. Oh yeah. Burned yeah, it yeah. down with the women in there talking about it, it let God's uh, plan go through or will like really? Really? So God's gonna tell you, let's destroy these people and burn this place down because uh this is God's will that the humanity ends now. Really? Idiots. That was weird. Uh, like I said, and it was happening around the world at the same time. Great uh, thought process. Great uh, idea. Just poor execution. So with that being said, I'll give it a ten, a two out of ten. I'm sorry, I, I didn't enjoy it at all. I'm giving it a five out of ten just because yeah. it had some moments where it was good, but as a whole, it really could have been better. Yeah. So. But I don't know. You guys let us know what you thought about it in the comments below, and. Until next time.